I think it's so special that I have you guys here with me, whether I am making pizza or getting lost in the desert without water or just roaming the earth in my little Jeep. Like, thanks for being here. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria Rose. I live out of my 1998 Jeep Cherokee XJ. I am near the Vermilion Cliffs right now, standing at this free dispersed campsite. I try to make all my camp spots free because I've had to shout a lot of cash lately to the mechanics for the problems I have with my 274,000 mile Jeep. She's a expensive girl. Who knows what adventures we're gonna get onto today, but for right now, I'm very happy with how beautiful it is right now. So hiking this canyon trail, which is really beautiful. I actually got here relatively early for once. But I can already tell this is gonna be a beautiful hike. This is so cool. It's even cooler in person, obviously. The sun washes out how magnificent it is. It, yeah, I don't really see a lot of hikers that are just solo. Sometimes I will here and there, but it's mostly couples and groups of people. This is like an in real life video game. You have to find where you're supposed to climb down the safest place. And I find that I can see footprints in the sand, but also wherever you see like kind of a little pile of rocks, that's the best place to go down because people laid that out before. I'm so puzzled and I think I have to walk in this. And it's way deeper than you would think. This doesn't feel right. A better way than that. That's cold. That's real cold. Amazing. I don't think I actually needed to go through that water. I asked some other hikers, like, no, you can go around it. But walking barefoot on this, I realized it's so much more grounding, and I prefer it now. Gorgeous. The water is so icy cold, but it's gonna make for like a great ice bath. it's not me that's stuck um so i'm at lone rock near page arizona and it's very pretty very cool everyone's camping on the beach so there's a lot of vehicles here but you know it's chill and this is an actual place that you have to pay for i had to pay 14 dollars. but i wanted to go swimming but now the sun's not even out so i don't know i'm tired it's been a long time since i've slept in a bed or showered or anything like that so i just wanted to swim and i probably still will and you don't even need television you can just watch people get stuck in the sand i could make it down there i just don't have a lot of experience driving on the sand and i don't know how to air down my tires i'm sure i could figure it out i can walk down to the water i did my laundry today it's quite a boring day but you have to have days where you 
you know, do your upkeep. It's possible that I would like to try and have a fire and do some cooking and stuff later on this week. Boy. in my life at all. Like really, I put my life out there online and I also don't have privacy in terms of my sleeping, my vulnerability, but I don't really care. Right now I'm just sorting my laundry. And there's lots of people around, but I just, I do not care. I can't, you can't care. Cause you gotta do what you gotta do. And I kind of don't have a home. So you're just out in, out in the open all the time. And I use this vinegar rinse. So I put the vinegar rinse in and go like this, and then I just rinse it in the water so it's natural and it makes my hair very clean. I don't want to burn myself out. I've been vlogging quite consistently the whole time I've been out here. And I vlog like daily, like I film daily. And then the editing takes like two or three days. And it's just a lot. It's a lot more than you'd think it would be. There's just a lot of thought put into it too. I love uploading consistently. I love doing things consistently. But sometimes whenever I'm feeling low, I don't feel like filming. You guys didn't come here for the highlight reel because I never give you the highlight reel. I've been treating myself with goat cheese because I like things that come in little packets and goat cheese I find is more digestible. So I got garlic and herb, goat cheese, potatoes. Ah. Green beans, oh, so good. I have sand everywhere. It's windy here and the sand just blows around everywhere. Some days I'll like, I don't know if you guys can relate to this, I'll just feel so empowered and energetic, just excited for my hikes and things. And then the next day I can just feel so low. I hate that. I know why I just always feel really good and empowered. We'll get to what this video is about, which I'm pretty sure I wanna do this pizza thing. I want to make a full pizza from scratch on a fire because I have a cast iron, iron skillet and I really want to use it because I've been carrying it around that I've never done before. I've never cooked any meal really too much on a campfire. That's what we're going to get to in this video. We just have to find the perfect spot and I have to get all the ingredients. I decided to get in a little hike today, even though it's the heat of the day, probably a bad idea, but this is a short one. But there's just so much beauty around this area. I guess a lot of people comment like about like showering and stuff like, oh, you should stop at like Flying J or like truck stops and stuff. And I'm not gonna pay for a shower. Just, I, if I really wanna go through that effort, I can bathe with my, in my Jeep. I have all the stuff. You know, I like being in a place where I can get a shower and then relax. It's, it's too stressful to try and go to truck stops to shower. I don't like it. But I will say going into the lake or water and just cleansing that way feels so much cleaner and just fresh. prehistoric time. Sounds like pterodactyls up there. I'm just out here all by myself, so quiet. It's very, it's the heat of the day. I shouldn't have come so late, but I did. So there's nobody else out here, I don't know. I really wanted to see the longest slot canyon. Supposedly this is where I'm supposed to be, but I haven't had signal this whole time, so I can't really look where I'm going, and I lost the trail, so I'm gonna have to head back. I don't know where I'm going. 
which is unfortunate because I'm already like here. I just don't know where to go and I don't want to get lost. This isn't even a trail, so I've just never been in a slot canyon yet. I don't really want to, but not like this. Not without any signal, not without any path. It's just not safe. I actually got so lost. Like I'm just so lost right now. I'm backtracking again. I'm like, yeah, I got this. I don't need GPS or anything. No, it's a lesson for me. I'm probably gonna die out here in the desert. I don't know how I got so backwards. I realized I was following cow paths. It wasn't even the actual, an actual path. I was so lost. Oh God, I hope I get out of this. I'm literally going the opposite direction. One thing I, I need is proper navigation tools. Like I can't keep doing it this way with trying to rely on like my cell network. I just went a long distance extra for no reason. This doesn't look familiar to me, but hopefully we're on the right path. Uh, I thought the other one looked familiar, but I guess it wasn't. Oh, this is not a good place to get lost. It was a little bit terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. But it teaches me a valuable lesson in being prepared. I did everything wrong for this one. I rushed into it, I didn't research, I didn't even look up things beforehand. And this is one of those trails that you can go on for like 20 plus miles and still be out in the wilderness. So be careful with these kind, especially when the trails aren't marked and there's lots of veering off paths. You can't tell if it's a wash, cow trail, but I think I'm on the right. The Wild West is brutal. I've never been so happy to see a parking lot before. I'm completely out of water. My whole body hurts. But I'm so happy I can see Yuki. Now I need to find somewhere to sleep tonight. This was not good. This will not happen again. Let's get out of here. goodness i um needed to find a camp spot so i was thinking in my head this is really close to blm land so i'm sure along this washboard road that is really slow driving down this one i'm like i think that that sounds familiar i'm gonna go up the road the road was the toughest road i've ever driven on uphill but also like it just it really needed four-wheel drive and a low gear let's say that um yuki really impressed me that was scary for me i felt the power of the jeep so we're up at this beautiful spot right here. It was a journey that I wasn't prepared for, none of it. I, that happens sometimes, especially if you're going straight up a road and there's nowhere to turn around. You just have to keep going. So this is kind of my usual type of meal, except um, I just ate the, the two boiled eggs that I had. But there's like, these are whole potatoes and then corn. And then I have a little bit of sriracha and honey mustard on top. And then <clears throat> I had a bunch of carrots and honey mustard. And I had some, a bunch of this, which is hydrating lemon water. Had some apples, I had yogurt. Oh, I had a lot of blueberries. <laughs> I'm just packing it in. My diet is quite basic, you know, it's a lot of whole foods and it's great. But this is even more the reason why I wanna like try cooking some pizza. <laughs> I think it would just be a different experience for me. So I'm still trying to do that later in this video. Stay tuned, it's gonna happen. Oh, and my Apple Watch informed me that I set the record for the most calories burned on a hike. That's good, even though I was lost for half of it. I don't know why, I didn't recognize anything at any point. My voice kind of like goes out whenever I'm in the, in the sun for too long. <laughs> so random because I always just do random things. I'm now going to go volunteer at an animal sanctuary. They got me oh, this road. I'm late. They got let me come in last minute to be able to do this. So I'm very happy. But this is how my Jeep handles washboard roads. And I know you should just air down the tires and so I don't have time for that. I've got to get here. I'm so excited. gonna be the most expensive pizza I've ever made. I don't know if I've ever really made a homemade pizza by myself. I don't think I have. <laughs> I'm hoping this turns out good because yeah, it was pretty expensive. Because I have to buy the wood, I have to buy all the ingredients because I'm making this from scratch. I had to get yeast, okay? We're rising this pizza dough. If I get my camp spot and there's not wind, 
then we can do it. Before that, we're going on one more hike, and I know there was a lot of hiking and stuff in this video. as I have been working on my love for people and my like for people I still cannot help but get really annoyed when there's little children everywhere and families kind of like I stay places a really long time and it's because I cannot relate because I don't want children and I, I, I would not want to inflict children on the world and they make things very loud and chaotic and I'm sorry if you have children but I cannot relate because I've chosen to never <laughs> Yeah, they kind of ruin the vibe of places. We are here at the camp spot. Well, firstly, I had to get this for $7. This bundle of wood. I got sun-dried tomatoes, the smallest flour I could get. I wish I could get yeast. I got tin foil because I thought I might like to store the rest of the pizza or cook with it. I don't know. Tomato sauce for the sauce. I have onion powder and salt. I got olives, mushrooms, because that's my favorite flavors. Oh, I should have got pineapple too. And then some cheese. And my technique here is going to be to cook the dough on one side, flip it over, cook it on the other side, put the toppings on top, let it all cook together and see if that works. Experiment, but I hope it turns out good for us all. Okay, let's get to cut I got some sugar from the coffee shop. All we really need for this is some warm water. I'm gonna heat a little bit up, if I can, on my stove, because it's kind of windy. One pack, can you say they? One pack of yeast and a tablespoon of sugar, which I don't have any measuring utensils, so we're just gonna, we're gonna guess. <laughs> All right, now we mix that around a little bit and let it sit for five minutes. All right, we are now ready to put in the flour. Also, I changed because I wanted to put my femininity into this pizza. My other shirt was bloating, it made me feel bloated. This is gonna get messy. I didn't get olive oil. I just have this stuff, so I'm gonna see if this works if I just spray it in. I don't really know how much to put in. That feels right. Does that feel right to you? <laughs> this is about feelings. So that'll do. Some pink sea salt we will sprinkle in. I'm scared. And just do it by feeling. I don't know how I'm going to clean this off of everything. The dough. We're going to put it in here, uh, grease, grease it a little bit, clean it up a little bit, and cover it and let it rise for like an hour. Set timer for one hour. And that's the dough. I got this little tin from a thrift store in Kanab to my jewelry in. Anyways, so I sprinkled this with some onion powder. And look at the, look how much this rose. Oh. So we're just gonna take this dough now after it's risen. And I don't have a rolling pin, so I don't really know how to do this part. I'm just gonna do my best. Okay, so I kinda had to wait a while for the wind to die down so I could actually start this fire. It's still a little windy, but I think it should be okay. We're gonna heat up the pan first, but very first I need to make a fire. Can't really see it, but I got a little blowtorch to start the fire. Right, so I already made like a little teepee right here. A little torch. So let's see if we can uh, get this bad boy going. 
So I put some rocks down and we're just gonna heat the pan up like that and um, hopefully the fire kind of simmers down. It's, it's difficult because it's so windy. In the meantime, comment below what your favorite pizza toppings are. Mine are definitely mushroom olives, I think. And I think pineapple's good too. Look at this dough is so fluffy. I'm so curious if this is gonna work or not. I really gotta get that fire tamed. And some tomato sauce. So this is our pizza. <laughs> Look how good that looks. Um, I don't know how to even do this. If I should just drop it on. I just don't want the fire to burn it. We're just gonna drop it on and see what happens. <laughs> I don't know, honestly. We'll see that where that takes us. So we have one side cut and it's actually turning out way better than I thought it would. Look at that, it looks amazing. I'm going to flip it over. <gasps> Look at that. That's actually real nice. Although it's gonna be a little bit difficult to put the toppings on, but we'll just smush it down. So we're gonna first, it smells so good. We're gonna put on our tomato sauce. bit of onion powder, because that's good. Actually doesn't need salt. We're gonna put on some sun-dried tomatoes, just need our cheese. All this, and mushrooms, of course. We'll try and see if we can kind of cover that. I don't know, that might not stay on. All right, we'll see if that cooks properly. So this is looking absolutely fantastic, way better than I even imagined it would. And it's not even burnt. Let's see if it's cooked. It looks pretty cooked all the way through. The cheese could be melted a little bit more, but what I'm going to do is put some tinfoil over it, take it off the fire, and yeah, it's pretty much done. Wow, that looks fantastic. <laughs> tinfoil on, and then I'm just gonna smother the fire out. We're done with the fire now. Look at that. So now is the taste test time. I'm so excited. Final result. I mean, the cheese probably could have melted a little more, but I mean, it's fine. Look at that. Okay. Cooked to perfection. It's always this amazing taste. Things that are cooked on a campfire or an open fire. It's so good. And it's not too doughy. It's so crispy. Wow, <laughs> I'm really hungry. This took a long time to make. I'm very pleased with how that turned out. And you know, this video was a lot of different things. I'm feeling a little, I guess, burnt out in a way. So I'm trying to keep myself stimulated and going and, and excited. So going back to the whole kind of loneliness thing, it just, you know, kind of wears on a person. I think everyone's kind of struggling with this around my age anyways. It's like getting land or a house or things like that. It's just, it almost feels impossible because it's so expensive and I just don't know how to do it. So I don't know how to progress, but I really do need something more stable going on or, or working towards something. For the meantime, you know, I hope you stay tuned for next week's video and thank you for coming with me on this adventure. Stay extraterrestrial. Let's see what we get up to next time. <laughs> Bye.